Hey guys, it's Kay, I hope you're all well. Now today I'm going to be looking at fixing my NVIDIA Shield, which I haven't used since the last upgrade from NVIDIA. Now if you're like me and you were stitched up by NVIDIA in the last upgrade to 9.01, then this video is for you, because today I'm going to be fixing my NVIDIA Shield and upgrading to the latest version. Now currently that is Shield Experience 9.02, but this method I'm going to show you will work with any future upgrade of Shield Experience. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks. So subscribe and hit the notification button. So as you can see, the issues I was having with the previous upgrade were basically connecting to anything online and that included YouTube and any web browser would simply just not work. So I couldn't even surf the internet and I was just getting the message, no internet connection available. Now this method I'm going to show you will work with any future problems you have with your NVIDIA Shield. So if we do get any more flaky upgrades, just follow this method. Now if you just want to see me upgrading the NVIDIA Shield to 9.02, just skip this section. So as you can see, I've booted up my NVIDIA Shield and I've gone into settings and checked for an upgrade. And it's showing that an upgrade is available to 9.02. But if I click on what's new and check to see what is new, I just get a blank screen. Now this is basically due to the fact that I do not have any internet connection on the NVIDIA Shield. So after trying everything, the next best thing is to go into settings, which is the cog icon in the top right hand corner, scroll down to device preferences, and from here scroll all the way down to the bottom and click on factory reset. And yes, unfortunately it has come to that because nothing else will work. Because without a working internet connection, you can't even upgrade to the latest version. And essentially you're stuck with a NVIDIA paperweight. So just click on factory reset, and scroll down and confirm you're going to delete everything and you'll get the message factory data reset restarting. You'll then get the NVIDIA splash screen followed by the slightly worrying erasing message and then again you'll get the NVIDIA splash screen. Now obviously guys I've speeded this up for your convenience but overall the whole process took no less than 10 minutes and I'm using the NVIDIA Shield 2019 version. Okay now as you can see we've changed to the Android splash screen so thankfully we're nearly there. And there you go, we're going to set up our remote control. So from here guys, it's basically like setting up a new NVIDIA Shield. So I won't bore you with the specifics, I'll just speed through this. It basically involves setting up your language. Then I've chosen to set up my Google account via my mobile, which definitely speeds things up a little bit. So from here, just follow the on-screen instructions, go to your mobile, open up the Google Home app, and then carry on from there. And then all that remains to be done is accept the terms and conditions, click on accept, and then view more and then click on accept again and then from there once you've installed your account you can install your apps from backup so you haven't really lost anything in this process and finally once you're happy with your apps just click on continue and then just skip through these next few sections as it's just information and then agree to the terms join the google shield rewards and here i just use my google account and enter in your year of birth and then you'll get the following message letting you know that the shield is up to date click on get started and it will begin completing the setup. And that's it. Hopefully now you are back to a working NVIDIA Shield. Now as you can see the NVIDIA Shield is still updating some apps so give it a few minutes to set up. Now once it's done its setup let's go into settings and check what version of Shield TV we're on. So down to device preferences and then about and then scroll all the way down to the bottom and you can see we're on 9.0.1 which is in fact where we left off previously but we didn't have internet working. So is internet working now? Let's go and check. And the first thing I'm going to check is YouTube. Okay, so that is a good sign. It is loading up without any issues so far. And we're in. And let's try playing the first video here. Okay, yeah, it works. We've got an ad. So that has fixed the internet issue with our NVIDIA Shield. But how do we get the latest version of Shield TV? Now, I don't see any notifications for an upgrade currently. So we're going to have to search for it manually. So I'm going to go into settings and device preferences and then click on about. And from here, we click on system upgrade and check for upgrade. Click on check for upgrade again and straight away we get the upgrade notification. So 9.02, let's see what's new. Shield Experience Upgrade 9.02. So this patch is released to Shield Experience 9.01 adding enhancements and resolving issues including I'm hoping a shed load of things that were broken in the previous version 9.01. Okay so we're getting Plex support for the latest Hopage Win TV Dual HD DVB TV tuner. So that's pretty cool. Looks like we can add an external TV tuner to the NVIDIA Shield and watch some terrestrial TV channels. We get added notifications when connecting or formatting removable storage. Now this is something I thought we already had, but obviously not. 
We also get a fixed AI upscaling bug in Netflix 2019 Shield only version. And we're also getting improved file transfer speeds, which is always a bonus. And this upgrade apparently resolves pairing issues with DualShock 3, Xbox One S and Xbox Series SX and Switch Pro controllers. We're also getting a fix for the crass issue with Google Play games on 2015 and 2017 Shield TVs. There's also a fix for the issue streaming to Switch with Nvidia Share and they've resolved the issue while using DVR on Channels app. And finally we get a fix for the select button detecting issue on the mouse toggle app. So they're promising quite a lot here, hopefully they live up to it and we don't get another can of worms. And then below that we've got what's new in version 9. And of course the main thing here is that we've upgraded to Android 11 on the Shield TV. And scrolling down and looking at the rest of it, it's basically the same as 9.01. We're getting the upgraded apps, and further down we've got the new games. And below that we've got other enhancements which are exactly the same as 9.01. Okay guys, I'm going to do this upgrade now and see what happens. If I have any issues, I'll let you know. So in that way, you don't have to risk upgrading yourselves. Now I'm going to click on download and install and I'll be speeding this up for your convenience. Okay, so it's downloaded and it's checking the integrity. Preparing to install, the shield's gonna restart. No issues so far. Looks like we're finalizing the upgrade to 9.02 and it's processing the update and we've got a restart. Now, of course guys, I am speeding this up. Now the upgrade is in process and then we get another restart and finally we get the Android boot up screen. We get a quick reminder of what's in the 9.02 release. Click on back. Now here we don't want to enable auto upgrade so click on no because of course we want to know if an upgrade is ok to install by watching videos like this. Click ok to change later from settings and that's it guys we let it finish the upgrade and we're into the main system. So let's check if we're upgraded to 9.02 so let's go to our settings, scroll down to device preferences, click on about, scroll all the way down to the bottom and there you can see we're on 9.02. OK, so now that we're upgraded, let's do a check on our internet services. So I'm going to go back into the home screen and click on YouTube and let's see what happens. So far so good. It's all looking normal so far and there we go, we're in and we've got some updates. So let's try a quick video and of course we get an ad, but at least we know it's working. So guys, we can safely say the restore and the upgrade to 9.02 has gone successfully. And I even successfully tried out a few games on the NVIDIA gaming system and I haven't come across any issues so far, so I think we can call this upgrade a success. Now if you do try upgrading yourselves, please do let me know how you get on, and more importantly, if you do have any issues, please do share them below in the comment section, because we all know of course, there's always something that goes wrong with these upgrades, and whoever's in charge of Nvidia's patch upgrades need to take a serious look at their system and processes. Anyway guys, if you found this video helpful, give us a like, and consider subscribing to the channel for more updates.